When you hire a marketing company, for example, are you able with a bulleted list to go, here's who we are, here's who we're not, okay? I'm gonna give you some really good tips I need you to write down. Ready? Biggest thing you could write down. Three words that describe your best self. Three words that describe someone you hate. If you guys were on our prior, inter, or our prior um, mastermind webinar two Tuesdays ago, Mike Morse was on it. Biggest advertiser in the entire state of Michigan. Guy has a 10 plus million dollar a month advertising budget. All over TV, billboards, 888 Mike wins. Big, big deal. Um, you know, that was hard to get on the webinar as well, which I'll show you guys shortly. Mike Morse, I learned this from him on the webinar. He said, here's the three things we are. Here are the three things we are not. We are not these guys. We are not these guys. Why don't, in the chat, why don't you guys start, start clear, clearing that up? Who are you? Are you, are you res like, what are your three power words? Are you responsive, relatable? Are you, uh, you know, write it all out. Like, don't get hung up on any one word and have that prevent you. It's like what I do on Facebook. I tell everyone, you, I run every morning now because we can't go to the gym. I tell everyone, you got to take one step, one step, and then you walk another step, and then you walk another, and then running's not as hard, right? Love it, Angel. Personable, passionate, persistent, right? Ethical, detail-oriented, determined. Love it. Love it. The, the beauty is actually going to be in the opposite of someone you hate because people are drawn to what they hate twice as much as what they love. Rush Limbaugh is face, famous for saying the people who hate him watch him tw twice as long as the people who love him. This is shared across many other uh, verticals, right? Um, what do you hate, right? Here's one thing I hate. I freaking, I freaking hate this. I hate lack of transparency. That's one thing I hate. I get, I get shit for this all the time. Like I got stuff from my team after phony, unreasonable, overly aggressive. Okay. Arrogant a-holes. Okay. Lack of transparency. I freaking hate that. See the passion in my voice when I say that, that can permeate to a Facebook video that you make that can permeate to a YouTube video that you make that can permeate to a anything that you do. We're not slick talking. We're not the fast, quick, settle firm. Love it, Daryl. Unresponsive, incompetent, misleading. Whoo! Love that. Getting these things crystal clear, unreasonable, shysty, incompetent. Writing out the three words you hate and the three things that your best self exhibits is one of the best ways to identify that. So once you've identified what your firm's unique selling point uh, is, unique, uh, unique selling proposition, I should say. By the way, did, keep in mind, we're not, I don't want you to feel anxiety about, I gotta pick the right three words. No, vomit, vomit it all out. It's all cool, vomit it out. No one needs to read your stuff, vomit it out. Vom right, 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 right. Look at compare, look at this, look at, look at what you're not, look at what you're not, look at what you're not. Write it out, write it out, write it out. This is such a powerful exercise because then this becomes your compass for your team. This becomes a compass for every action you take and it actually can feed into your core values as a company. My company's number one core value is that we are three-way winners. We create wins for our clients, wins for our company and wins for our team. So we, won't, we will not get involved with anything that we won't do things that are just a win for our client, but not profitable for our company and a drain on our team. If we get an a-hole client, for lack of better words, if we get someone great client, right? It's, they're getting great service from us, but since they're an a-hole, they drain our resources and they treat our team like crap, it's not worth it. So we're clear about that up front. So I don't penalize my team if they let a client go away from us, fire a client, quote unquote. I don't penalize them. 
I high five them. Say, great, was that person treating you right? Nope, not treating you right. They, they, you know, they weren't doing it. It's fine. But they at least know what that compass is because our unique selling proposition, which then ties into our core values, is crystal clear. So it ties into your advertising messages as well. The next thing to be crystal clear on is what are your value add services? Okay. What are your value add services versus your commodity services? Now, I don't want you to focus on the word commodity. There's a book called, check this out. It's uh, thank you, Devin. Devin is one of my top digital marketing consultants. If you guys want a meeting with him, he just put the link in there. Um, we're analyzing people's websites, analyzing your content strategy, analyzing really everything, your keyword strategy. Um, Google ads is really important right now. We have a one-time setup offer, uh, helpmylawfirmgrow.com. You guys can check out. Um, but my goal here is, is to give you as much value as possible. Um, everything's on our website. If you guys want to check it out, smbteam.com. So what I'm saying is, here is a big, big problem. I want you to really, really take this home. If you're not clear with your team about the, the services you provide in your firm that are just break even services, foot in the door services, you know, keep the lights on services. If you're not clear about that, your team will criticize your quality. And they'll start in the back of their mind not believing in you as a firm. And they'll stop and they'll start thinking in the back of their mind, man, I don't really trust this firm. And that's how you lose employees. But with us, we're crystal clear, right? Our differentiator, you know, service. Yes, I'm 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 gonna explain right now. Uh, the door bumper behind you is really where is it? Whoop. Um, so, you know, what are your differentiator services and what are your foot in the door, like break even services? If you don't explain this to your team, they're going to spend, you know, hours thinking, oh, I just work for a shitty company or, or these little animal based thoughts that go through their mind. You have to be crystal clear and you have to say to your team and you have to say to your clients, this is what we say about our SEO service. Like, like our SEO service is very simple. Like we do the minimum effective dose of what is required. Like we're not gonna, we're not gonna do the SEO. And, and I, I, I love being honest about this. I don't wanna pretend that we are the advanced lawyer marketing company for this and this and this and this and da da da. Then it, then it just gets lost in the, in the shuffle. No, 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 we do simple SEO, like very bare bones stuff. We do um, very high level Google ads and we do very simple retargeting on Facebook. Like th those are some of our core services as a company. If you're clear about what you offer to your clients, right? McDonald's isn't a bad company because they offer a product that's scalable and systemizable. If you own the fact Right. For example, some of these firms that don't like bringing, you know, PI firms that don't like bringing cases to trial. Well, you should have a unique selling proposition for that. Hey, we realize for our clients that it's not just about maximizing the case value. It's also about time because you don't want to wait three years to maximize case value. You want to find somewhere in the middle where we can maximize case value and da, 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 and, and do it relatively fast, whatever. That's your spiel. If you're clear about that to your firm and, and everyone who, who's involved in your firm and in your marketing, no one can ever hate you because you're being open about what you do and don't do, what you do strive for and what you do not strive for. So get clear on your unique selling proposition for your firm as a whole and then for the individual niches of your firm so then you can communicate your advertising in that way, right? Prenups, right? Prenups are a foot in the door for sometimes other things, right? You think about all these little niches in your firm and there's different unique selling propositions for each of them. Mm -hmm.